Today in the shop we have a 2002 Honda CRV that has approximately 308,000 kilometers on it and we have a driver's side door lock that does not function when operating the power locks. First thing we need to do is to remove the left front door panel of this vehicle but before we go ahead and do that you want to make sure that your window is rolled up because with the window rolled down you cannot gain access to the latch actuator assembly to do, uh, service it once the door panel is apart. To remove the inside door handle, pull the lever open. There's a little access point on top of this uh, recovery here and you can pull it down to gain access to the two screws that are in there. Remove the two Phillips fasteners. Slide the handle forward a bit. Pop it out. Now at this point you have to undo the electrical connector to the switch and the uh, cable that connects to the handle to remove it completely from the vehicle. Now there's two other fasteners that we have to remove underneath the uh, handle pull here. Just note that the screws on the lower handle here are much larger than the ones uh, in the inner handle. Don't mix them up. And the second screw over here. Now with all the fasteners removed from the door panel, the only thing holding the door panel on should be clips. And we're just gonna pull that off uh, nice and easily and remove the door panel. Now that uh, all the clips are free from the door panel and it's loose, just pull the door panel up, especially off the lock here. Before this door panel becomes free, you have to undo the electrical connections at the uh, window switch and the trunk latch. Hope this turns out. I have the door panel turned on inside. Uh, this is the uh, trunk release button. I'm just going to push down the tab right here. Push it down, pull it out to release it. The next one you want to do is the uh, window switch. It's this uh, green connector here. In the middle, you get, my fingers aren't right here, the tab you got to push down. Push down and give it a pull to release the connect electrical connector. And there's one more we have to undo here and that is the power window switch. Uh, the, Left it, same thing as a tab, push it in, just pull it out. Now with all those undone, we can just give a nice little snug pull on those to release the harness from the door panel. And our door panel is free. We have to remove a small portion of this vapor barrier to gain access to the, the latch and the lock actually that are down in here. There's a little rubber plug here we have to pull out. Just kind of pull it back. It's nice that this uh, sealer on this vapor barrier is pliable, so this does come back. A lot of times you have to cut the paper and tape it back together. Remove the door lock rod. Just release it from the connector there. Release this tab here. Put a screwdriver in behind, just kind of pop it open. The center of it pulls loose and the clip releases. This is the view you have from inside the uh, door panel. Right here you can see the two connectors for the uh, door lock actuator. We have to remove the whole latch assembly in order to replace it. So let's go ahead and do that. Pushing the tabs here and here. Give them a pull to release them. We're going to have to remove the uh, window run channel, the whole molding itself. It's a split piece, it splits at the top. In order to do that we have to remove this bolt right here. Just grab the bottom of the run channel, give it a nice slide down until it comes free from the top rail. Just kind of slide this out of our way. Now 
Now this is the part where it gets tricky. You have to disconnect the outer door handle and the lock cylinder uh, cables from the top so you can remove the whole latch. It's up there, it's really tight, and I hope I can get the camera in there. I'm surprised I got a good shot in here. I'm sure you're not going to see anything once my hands get in there. That's your door handle right here. And over here, that's your uh, lock cable. They both have to be removed. This tab here has to flip up and the rod will pull out. You couldn't see me do that because my hands were in the way, but it's undone. I'm just going to put my screwdriver between the door handle and the rod. I'm going to give it a twist to release it. Pull it off. Success. I'm going to do the same with the lock rod. It does not have a secondary uh, latch on it like the door handle itself. Everything is disconnected from our latch. Now to undo the screws. Only three screws remaining to remove the latch and then we can bring the latch out to the bench and disassemble it to replace the actuator. Now the door latch should slide out of the inside of the opening in the door. There's my new actuator. There's the part number if anybody's interested in it. Now to disassemble the latch and change the actuator. I'm just gonna remove this uh, felt tape a bit here. Phillips screw. Just gonna pry that up a bit. Gonna have to pry up those latches here to get this plate off. Like so. You don't have to pry this completely off, just up enough that we can gain access to the actuator. Now to release the actuator from the housing, there's two tabs, one right there, you want to pull up on it and slide it out and there's a second one uh, right beside the connectors here. You want to pull these both out at the same time to release the actuator from the lock assembly, the latch assembly. There you have it. One old lock actuator. It's an operative. New one. Or take that plate right off with frustration. Slide it in, snaps into place. Place your screw back in. Attempt to reinstall your felt tape. It does block moisture from getting into the latch. And freezing in the winter time, if you get cold weather, as we do, I'm sure this will fall off before I get put back in the car. Now we're ready to install the latch back into the car. I'll just do the complete opposite, put it back together, and hopefully you have success with your door lock actuator replacement. Good luck.